Hi. Uh, today I want to show you about PACs. PACs are a group of documents that have to be sent together or created together. So, for instance, a pack can be a set of doc configs that have to be uh, generated together and merged into one big uh, PDF. So, all the separate doc configs are glued together. Why would you do that? To simplify the printing, to simplify the email sending, to simplify the uh, e-signatures that can be done or should be done by the customer. So if you have uh, three documents and only one has to be signed, of course, you don't want to uh, to, to send three documents to e-signatures. You just want this one big document to, uh, to be signed so it's easier for your customer uh, to not sign all three. Okay. So in the new PDF Butler version, you will have this tab called PDF Butler Packs. And here you can start creating your packs. I've created one for sending an email with attachments. So a pack is very easy. It doesn't have a lot of information, but it has a leading .config. So there must be one .config that actually tells all the other ones what to do. For instance, this is an email. The email will tell all the other ones, you should be an attachment of my mail. That's what a, that's what a pack can do. When uh, the leading one is a PDF uh, and you don't want to merge all the PDFs, then the leading one can indicate that you want to save the PDF as an attachment or a file to the uh, opportunity or to the record you're currently working on. So that means that the same action will be taken for all the uh, documents in the pack. So we have a leading doc config, which is an email in this case, and we have two other doc configs that are actually also part of the pack. So in this case, the entire pack exists out of three doc configs. The other two, what is it? It's a static PDF. So you already seen the uh, course on static PDFs, uh, I assume, but it can also be a uh, yeah, the dynamic document. So I just took one from the demos that we have created in the uh, basic configuration part that, that we will use here. So this is uh, all those documents that have to be sent into the into the pack. OK, so a pack just like a .config can have actionables. Without actionables, we actually do not know what we expect from this uh, from this pack. So an actionable, for instance, is that we want to send out the email. Sending out the email is just the same as sending out the email on a doc config. So you see that this configuration is the exact same configuration as with the email sending. So in this pack uh, is linked to this actionable and the actionable is an after actionable. It's linked to the class email.config so it knows it has to send the email uh, to the uh, that comes from the doc config. It will run after it's active. It has an org wide email address and it has a data source for all the uh, um, for all the users that you want to send it to. So uh, email target objects. So it's actually the contact, the user, or the lead that will receive the email. You can just query it. Okay, let me go back to the pack. Uh, I think this is it. This is all that we need to uh, to create a pack. So let's see the pack in action. We go to an, uh, uh, an opportunity in this uh, case, in this example. Uh, just going to slide this over here. OK, so what we see here is that we have multiple uh, PDF butter lightning components that can be configured for the pack. In this case, uh, let's take a look at the configuration. I do edit page. Okay, so we're here and we see that that I just uh, added different um, PDF butter lighting components. I just drag and drop them from here. Uh, so from here, from here. Unto the pack. Okay, so what we see here is that uh, let's let's take this one. This is our email and Below, we just have a pack ID, so that's the identifier of the pack. You can just uh, copy paste it from the uh, browser uh, URL. Um, then we have the name of the pack. In this case, I call it merge. Uh, merge and email, I will call it. 
it. So let's update it. And then I have an action and it says at this moment, it says merge. Allow file upload means that at the runtime, you can upload dynamic files, means that maybe you have prepared a certain document, maybe there is an there's an overview of uh, amortization stuff that uh, that you need may so certain things that you have prepared yourself you can just dynamically upload at runtime and it will be added to the uh, to the pack means that it will be sent uh, separately in an email or it will be uh, merged in this case because we put a merge here uh, directly into one big document okay so this is how to configure a pack just drag the uh, PDF Butler the configs uh, uh, lightning component on here. Go to the pack section, uh, enter the pack ID, give it a name, and this is the overview. You so you see the the, the leading doc config of this pack, and you see all the child's uh, doc configs that are related to it. Cool. Let's save it. Go back to our opportunity. So now we are at our opportunity. Let's click the button. Everybody knows what will happen. It will just generate, uh, get all the data from PDF Butler, generate the email, generate the, the configs for uh, the PDFs for these items and send it through mail. So I already heard a ping in the background, but I'm not sure that you heard it. So let's take a look at Gmail. In Gmail, the uh, email has has been received so i'll say that i want to display the images you uh, probably recognize this mail but the new thing is that we have uh, an attachment here and the attachment there's only one although there were two uh, doc configs in the pack two child configs in the pack next to the email but what it has done it has merged it has glued the two dot configs together maybe uh, that's not the that's not what you're looking for. Maybe you just want to send out the email separately. That's not an issue. That's your uh, that's your configuration of choice. Um, so you can do it at the runtime, but you can also do it at configure time. And you just, for instance, set the uh, merge type here to none. Means that the, the the PDFs will not be merged, and they will be sent separately. So I'll save it. Go back to the opportunity. Okay, this is my opportunity. I'll click the button again. Let's see what happens. So, message is already sent. It means that in this two, three seconds that we were waiting, it generated the email, it generated the, uh, the PDFs, and it has sent the email. And the email is already been received because I heard a ping in the back. Okay, display the images, of course, to make it look nicer. And what you see now is that you have two attachments, so they are not merged anymore. And that's how easy it is with PDF Butler to uh, control this entire process. Thank you for watching. If you have more questions, contact us at support at pdfbutler.com and we'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.